shows you guys know I cover multiple houses, usually like around six houses and the video is quite long this is probably still gonna be a long video, maybe not that long but the house is so big that we're just gonna be covering this one house in this video because it is, as they say, one of the largest homes in America that's their words and you are really not prepared <laughs> for anything about this house you're not you're not ready i want you to sit back i want you to buckle in uh pop up some headphones if you want get yourself like a, a warm beverage or a comfy blanket i've got my comfortable blanket in my lap and i am so ready to deep dive into this house with you guys okay please join me on this journey are you ready for the grand reveal well you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail but this is the house <laughs> it looks like i look like i feel like i'm looking at like a uh, a miniature carousel i don't know because it looks kind of round but it's a full house it's in utah there's a lot of weird houses in Utah, to be honest. And how big is it? You may be wondering. Well, it's 50,000 square feet. Just let that sink and think about however big your home is. 50,000 square feet. Sitting on a hundred and fifty-six acres. Now to say 50,000 square feet, the size or the amount of bathrooms and bedrooms is kind of small, I would say. I think the average American home is like 2,500 square feet or something like that. Um, and that's usually like a four bedroom, three to four bedroom. So, What's taking up all that square footage? You may be wondering. I know you're wondering. And oh, you are going to find out. Let's just note, by the way, that the price is 17.5 million. It's pretty freaking expensive. Uh, I'm not going to read any more about the house because it's going to spoil what some of the stuff you're going to see inside. But it was built in 2010. Um, the property taxes are a prop approximately like a hundred grand a year not counting your mortgage so plus it's so big 50,000 square feet I think you have to have some sort of professional cleaning service like cleaning and maintaining this home so I cannot imagine I cannot fathom the cost of month to month to own and operate and maintain this home how many columns do I see just from this image? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a little one down there. Seven, eight, nine. One was hiding there. Ten. I don't know if that's one. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Did I get that one? Fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, give or take, I might have missed one or two, 26 columns in just this one photo of the house, which, this is the front of the house, I, uh, is it the front? I'm very confused because where would you drive up, right? It looks like this is not connected to anything. I don't understand most of what goes on in this house. Um, we just have to, we just have to start the 3D tour. I mean, there's no, no beating around the bush here. Let's, oh, here we go. That was definitely the back of the house, because this is clearly the front. You have this massive, you can't even call this a carport. It's like a full-on hotel-sized kind of carport where you would drive up and a, and a bellboy comes out and they have that little, um, thing on wheels and they're going to put all your luggage on it and then they're going to wheel it in like that's what's happening here off to the left right here you've got like like a full-on bar garage thing i just i don't even know a 
okay, we have to go inside now. And um, th through the double doors, we've got one heck of a shandy. I'm kind of a little bit baffled if we take a step forward by what ha what's happening here. We've got like, I'm assuming coat closets. We've got like these coat closets here and here. And you can already tell they've gone for the gilded, opulent, gold look, which personally I find incredibly tacky and dislike. I don't like gold. I don't even really like gold fixtures. I'm a silver girl anyway. You know, I wear silver jewelry. real crystal. What do you guys think? I don't, this also, but I don't even know where to start. So we're created by yet more columns, Corinthian columns, no doubt, uh, uh, no doubt, like no less, um, which are the most preposterous and ostentatious of columns, in my opinion. Just put a plain Doric column, I mean, that's fine. Okay, stepping forward into this large I don't know what, if it's a sitting room. It's practically big enough to be a ballroom. We've got two lions, like, roaring at each other above the fireplace. Um, I do, I did look up because when I first saw this house, I was like, who owns it? This is not just your average rich person. And they, this is like the CEO of, um, some company. I hadn't really heard of it, I think. But I looked it up and then they owned, I think, or started another business. Or I think this view is absolutely stunning. It's got almost almost all wilderness. It's just like one house over there. Um, just the kind of uninterrupted views of the mountains. But then inside you've got this gross textured wall. You've got just these a disgusting amount of drapes. How are you closing those drapes? Are you cleaning those drapes? Imagine the dust. You've got sconces up the wazoo. You've got this inlay tile, your Corinthian columns. I mean, it's so... tacky. This will not be a positive video, just so you know. We will be questioning a lot of the choices that are happening here. I mean, like, I just will be, will be, will be roasting it quite a bit. Okay, so there's a, a quite a large elevator because you know, rich people hate taking the stairs. And through here, a little, I assume this is some sort of dining space, a breakfast kind of bar. I think the kitchen is through here. How crazy is the kitchen gonna be? Well, it starts here apparently. I see a formal dining room through there. I don't want to get ahead of myself, though. It's... It's got another chandelier. I think... I've, I feel like I need a chandelier count. Maybe I'll, I'll do a chandelier count. Um, kind of dated-looking appliances at this point. What is that thing? What? What is that? Is it a bread machine? It looks like a in-counter bread machine, which I've never heard of before. I'm also not that bosh, you know, but it, lo it looks, if anyone has a better guess than bread machine, please tell me, because I, I want to know what you guys think. Um, another stove, so that's like two different two different ovens, sorry, and one stove top. Two sinks, which is not crazy. That, I take it, is the fridge, which is, uh, extensive. It is not the worst nor the craziest kitchen I've ever seen. Although I hate bits like this, I would, I would hit my thigh on that all the time. I currently have a 
disgusting green purple bruise on me it was not attractive and it's still not gone it has been one uh, one it's been like four days and it's still there so off the kitchen we're entering into an even bigger living room i take it like this is the actual family room where we'd probably be putting a tv around there but you know there is such a thing as too big of a living room because like there's an optimum distance that you want to be from your tv you don't want to be too close to the tv but you don't want to be too far away from the tv so i feel like in order to space out the furniture properly in the space you would have to be pretty far from the tv again stunning view the one thing i will never be able to roast about this house is the amazing view but we can roast just about every other part aspect of it okay there's like a little electronic area over here with that looks like um like the computers that they have in like restaurants and stuff you know and also, I'm sorry, is there just like a Sith Lord over there? I don't recognize who that is, but it's kind of crazy that they've taken out almost all the furniture except for this grand piano. But they left that little guy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, how about we go down this corridor and then we'll come back. Oh my gosh, they have a full on... I just saw a TikTok about this of a guy who was like, I installed a, a water fountain in my parents' home when they weren't home. Um, and it was just, you know, it was so preposterous because it was like a, a real working water fountain from like a school or a, like a government building or something like that in a home. How ridiculous is that? Oh, 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 oh how silly, how, how, how crazy, how wild. But no, the, these people just have that and that's normal. Is normal. Would you like that? Let me know. I'm curious. I don't think I would like it because like even when I was school age I didn't like I mean to bend down and awkwardly drink from a thing and you know how like it either like comes out really forcefully or it's just like the tiniest bit and then you have to put your mouth like really close to it and that's just disgusting so I've always been a water bottle person so I would use that to fill up my water bottle so I could drink like a normal person maybe it's because I'm on the taller side especially for a woman I had to bend over more for, to get the water I just think having that in your house is so impractical these days I'd rather have a water bottle refill station but this was built in 2010 and I don't think those were really a thing back then so we have our first bathroom it's pretty bog standard rich people bathroom we have a lot of cream color everywhere kind of like that kind of sickly yellow shade and I don't like it but people seem to pair it with gold uh, I give a lot of flack to gray you know gray everything but I think I still take gray everything over like a, a sickly kind of yellow beige color everywhere I think I it looks to me like when a smoker has lived in a home and they take it on the furniture and there's like yellow stains on the wall except for like behind these cabinets you know and you see the, the difference between like the white original walls and the new wall, like the stained walls and that's what it looks like to me like it's all been like smoke stained Leia's joined me. I'm just gonna be a good girl, right? Good girl. Okay, I have to get back into the house. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, rant about yellow everything over. So, I've got a mudroom here. It's just, ow. That's back to the entrance, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so going back down here, let's take a right. Oh, wait, hold on. There was the formal dining room. Let's go in there. Ooh, the Rococo style. I'm not an expert on it, but I think these chairs are kind of Rococo. Oh, not for me. And look. Two stories of giant mirrors so you and all your friends can watch each other eat. Isn't that what you wanted to do? Ew. And there's another one up there. What's in here? Oh, the like catering kitchen, the second kitchen. Okay, that's two kitchens now, guys, with two more ovens. So the oven count is at four now. Four ovens, two stove tops. That's almost like a double sink itself. Another one of these. Red machines and another fridge. Wow. Oh, and another big old shandy. Update my shandy count. Okay. So, uh, shall I stay on the first floor? I think yes. I think I'll stay on the first floor before we move into other floors. So, let's go down this way and see what treasures are awaiting us. An office, a study, yeah, slash library, which is nice. The only place where I'll accept like a dark wood and wood paneling, I think, is in a library. There's like a million planes today, so if there's a lot of cuts, I just like to cut out plane noise because it's annoying. Okay, we have our first bedroom with another shandy and a uh, security camera that looks kind of like you'd see it, I don't know, a place of business. The curtains indicate that this is a kid's room, so I guess it was like, you know, keeping an eye on the kids, but it's a really nice sized room. I don't know if it was a bedroom or a playroom. Wow, I'm not sure I've seen like a painted toilet before. That's, uh, not, not awful. I weirdly kind of like it. The sink as well. Yeah, maybe I kind of like it. Oh, the tub too. Well, it's all on theme. It's a cute tub though. That's really cute. Although, what are you doing? This lone corner cabinet. What are you doing? All alone over there. That's so weird. Okay. Oh, and here I believe we have the primary suite. With one, two, three columns. If I showed you guys this, like if you just saw this, would you think that this is the primary suite? Or would you think that it's like a literal ballroom? I... Everyone loves a good big bedroom, right? Like, do I love the size of my bedroom? Yeah, but if it were a bit bigger, would I be okay with that? Also, yeah, but there reaches a point where it's just ridiculous. Nobody needs this much space in your bedroom because there's only so much you can do to fill it with furniture. So, trying to plot this out, it looks like, based on the indents, that the bed was here. That's not even centered in the... That's not even centered against the wall. Oh. Oh, I'm receiving psychic damage from this. It looks like they've centered it between these outlets, kind of. Why would you do that? Why would you not center? You even have built-in measurement systems, like in The Sims. Two here, two here. You put it across these three. Okay, I have to... Calm down. Alright. So you've got your bed. You've got bedside tables on either side. Maybe you've got a little accent chair over there. Okay, what other furniture could you need? Like an armoire and a dresser? Sure. But those have to go again. 
have some parlor seating around here, but it just still leaves this massive empty space here where I'm guessing when they said furniture that it was largely empty. Amazing view again. Although a huge like feels like I'm on a ship, like this is like the deck of a ship. This balcony is so big. And nice double doors so you can go out on your balcony, like that's nice and all that. I see three chandeliers just from right here, just in the bedroom. Uh, okay, are you ready to see the bathroom? I fear how large the bathroom is going to be based on the size of the bedroom because it's another thing that where like you only need so much space in your bathroom, right? One sink, two would be better, sure. A shower, a freestanding tub, a toilet, maybe also a bidet, and some like cabinetry space. That's ideally what you'd want in like the the perfect nice bathroom. Let's see how much empty room there is. Also, pet peeve of mine, when, when you have all this, look at it, it juts out and then it goes back up. That looks so bad. <laughs> oh, okay, show me the bathroom, I'm ready. Staircase in the bathroom was not on my bingo card, how about you? So, double sinks, check. Oh, another area, that'd be nice, would be like a vanity area you can put on your makeup. We have that here. This is a moderate, decent size. We have one of those built-in hotel hair dryers. I think the theme of this house was hotel. I think that they like, really like hotels. They even have a nice built-in lit uh, mirror. Oh, the closet looks like it's back here. Okay, we'll tackle this beast in a second. Okay, and as I thought, there's just an, an, an insane amount of space. This alone, this bathroom, is probably bigger than a lot of houses. I, not the average house, because again, I think the average house in America is 2,500 square feet, if I remember, which is pretty big. <laughs> Um, I think it's all those massive houses in Texas are, are raising that up. Actually, I want to look it up now. I want to look that up. 2,200 square feet. In 2021, the average is 2,200, so that's pretty... That is still on the larger side. I feel like most homes I look at in my, like, income bracket or, like, you know, comparable houses are for... Yeah, the average houses are like anywhere between 1,200 to, to 2,000 or 1,800 on average for like three twos. Yeah, okay. So, that being said, uh, I don't know, I can't determine square feet. Actually, they say you can measure stuff. Shall we try it? I've never done this before. That's 30 feet. <laughs> uh, now let's do one from the tub. Do how do I like the tub to there? That's 24 feet. This is crazy. This is wild. Okay. That's cool. I actually should use measurement mode more. One, two, two chandeliers. So we have the tub and um, it's like a nice big two-seater tub. Although you have this huge dedicated area for a tub. Give me like the biggest tub you can. Make it like bigger than a hot tub. Because me personally, I wouldn't be able to like lie down in this, you know? Like in a lot of those nice freestanding tubs, like they're big enough that you can like stretch your legs out and then kind of 
sink. If we turn, we see two more sinks. And, ah, uh, this is, boy, the toilet is back there. That is a toilet. It's a toilet in bed. Why is this chair sitting here? And we genuinely have a phone over the toilet. When did the iPhone come out? It was before that, I thought, right? It's like cell phones were definitely a big thing in 2010. I got my first cell phone, I want to say in like 2008, 7 or 8. Um, and I was older, like 12 or 13. I just didn't really need one because I didn't have anywhere to go as a child. <laughs> people to text or call. So like, why did you build so many phones everywhere? You, you had cell phones. Okay, the shower area is probably over here. He's following us. You guys, I... This video has taken a wild turn. They've created like a scavenger hunt for us practically. Do you think it's the same one and they ran around and they moved it? Like they're moving it around while the people do go around doing the door? Or do you reckon they just have more than one? Oh, is this? I don't recognize him. Okay, looking it up. I did some quick Googling and I could not figure out who it is. Um, I sent a picture of it to my husband who's... Star Wars lore is way, way better than mine, uh, so I'll see if he replies and we'll find out. I'm guessing it's like old Knights of the Old Republic or, um, yeah, Swol like Swoldar, something that I'm just not familiar with. I just, I don't, I don't find these showers appealing where it feels like you're in a cave. Brightness, colors, color dial. Wow. I thought this was like an MP3 player at first, like built into the wall. I wouldn't actually put it past it to have like a music setting. Are there speakers in here? listening to music when I'm in the shower because I dance around, but I just like prop up my phone or something nearby. <laughs> um, it's a very fancy shower given it's got like the uh, water up here and all your, it, it, it uses so much water, like way more water than you need, but it's so, there's only one little window. It just feels like you're in a dark little cave. I don't like that. I don't know. It's just weird. And you have these big closets. Okay, but speaking of closet, there's an actual closet here. And it's like a maze. This is a literal maze. Thank you, Leia. They created a maze for the closet. I mean, it's better than it being like a big empty room and they're just being, you know, shelving along the edges and there's just so much empty wasted space where there could be room for clothes, so props in that way, I guess. Although, this looks like shoe space, and holy cow, who has this many shoes? Here, and there, and there. Um, also, that is in front of that, and so it's kind of hard to reach. What's in here? What's through here? Mirrored closet. Terrifying. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. And something that was ripped out of the wall there. Of course, there's a phone there, so you can call and be like, "Help! I'm lost in my maze of a closet. I need, I need, you need to come get me." Okay. By the way, he replied, and it's it's Darth Raven or Raven from Knights of the Old Republic. So I was right about Knights of the Old Republic, and I didn't know you wore white, but okay, I know you're wondering what's down the staircase, but you have to wait. You gotta wait a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs now. Let's take these ridiculous fancy stairs rather than the boring stairs. Okay, here we go. Up the stairs. Oh, wow. Alright, let's start down this way like we did 
Wednesday this year, okay? I take it this is where all of our guest bedrooms are, although there's only six bedrooms, right? And I think we've seen two, if we count that kid's room. So, we're on the third bedroom. And it's got attached bathroom, which also opens up onto the hallway. And this looks out over the ridiculous dining room. Does it bother you a bit? Like it does me that like this balcony doesn't line up with the window and the chandelier. Come on guys. We're spending this much money on this massive home. You can make things line up. Another bedroom. This one's really big. I don't like carpet everywhere. And this is the reason why you pick up your furniture and you have all these little indentations. Oh my, it's uh, quite the shower tub combo. Oh, I don't think I like these sconces. What? Oh, I don't like that. That's <laughs> bizarre. Um, and I think there's another chandelier in here. Okay, we've come across the other staircase, and now what's over the living room? Just kind of like a large uh, library, study, bonus room kind of situation. Okay, well, lots of room for books, it's nice. I like this little tucked away alcove here. Put a little chair in there, just hide away. I guess this is kind of nice, although I bet it's really echoey and cavernous here. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go the other side. I see green, which is kind of weird and a little confusing. Oh, I didn't even see this. I gotta, you gotta look up, although maybe I can see it if I stand here. It's called a, a cupola, right? I think. Do you think there's a chandelier up there at the top? I bet there is. So, another office. Nothing too crazy at this point. And uh, another bedroom. This one kind of mirrors the other one a bit. Actually, this one might be bigger. Chandelier. Chandelier. Oh, that's quite a large, uh, sorry, I got distracted by this sink with a dragon in it. Wow, it's something. I think I would like the sink if the countertop were not so crazy busy with this pattern. Like, that's just too much. You got this beautiful pattern on the bowl and this deep, like, marble veining in red and, like, the colors kind of clash and, uh, it's, yeah. Also weird that they put the mirror over here rather than here. And the shower. Okay, pick a culture and stick with it. You have Chinese stuff here and you have like, gr Greek stuff here. Pick one culture, please. <sighs> okay, leaving this room. What's across the hall? Is it another? Bunch of chandeliers, yes. Just one, just a measly one chandelier room. <laughs> what are you poor? You stayed in the one chandelier room. This one has a big walk in closet and a creepy little door. And, uh, a not nearly as big, but a definitely nauseating shower. Oh my gosh, my, it's too much for my eyes, everyone. And it doesn't get better over here. Guys, this lacquered wood does not go. Stop putting it everywhere. It's the second bathroom where we've seen a lacquered wood mirror. Don't do that. Oh, what is in here? I'm trying not to look in there. Another laundry room. Ooh. With a... Oh, it's probably like a, uh, what's the word? Like, not dry 
this is some sort of it's definitely like a fancy laundry thing right you hang your clothes up in there and it like steams them or something okay I think this is a playroom oh my gosh they have a Confused. 
confused that there used to be something here and they ripped it out. I don't... Is this a safe? Or is it like a panic room? Okay. This is wild. I don't know where we are right now. Uh... So clearly something was here. A big something. And you took it out. So it doesn't convey with the sale. That's very odd. Okay, you've got another kitchen. And you've got a freaking bowling alley. Okay, well then, the one thing I was just thinking for that room was, I, I'm pretty sure there's a bowling alley in this house. Maybe the bowling alley was right there and they for some reason, but no, the bowling alley is here. Bowling alley and shuffleboard. Like, this is a proper setup, too. They clearly got, like, the tables and the chairs with the, the screen. There's the pins. Oh my gosh. What's down here? The, like, maintenance room for it. Cool. Oh, how neat. We get to actually, like, go back and see. Very cool. What the heck is that room? I, I guess you could play some sports in it, like, uh, um, what's that one where you just kind of like hit oh, the ball off the wall? You could kind of play that, but uh, it didn't look like that was being played there. Oh my gosh, and you could like serve up like hot dogs and other classic bowling alley food right here in the third kitchen. Third, or would you say this is like the fourth kitchen? I can't quite remember. There's been so many kitchens at this point. And the bathroom, of course. And a really weird, confusing room. I, I, I don't understand. No idea. Let's go to the other side of the house where there's some crazy stuff waiting for us. Okay, we've got billiards in here. We have yet another kitchen. You would never go hungry in this house. Never. If you're like, oh, I want to have a snack, you just max have to walk like 20 feet to find a kitchen. Oh, there's a nice little fireplace over here. It's kind of cute. There's the elevator again. This is the door that we saw from where the, the view of the big wide angle shot was taken. Um, okay, maybe let's go down here. What's happening down here? Why is part of it dial and the rest is carpet and there's chandeliers up here? I'm very confused. What are we doing down here? Is it like was this the, the dancing ballroom area? There's so many chandeliers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm, this must have been like some sort of a party entertainment area. Like this whole floor was maybe. What's all over the wall, too? I guess they had uh, artwork put up. What's with this weird shape? What is this? Where am I and what's happening right now? What's this creepy little room? With the, with the really, like, bright fluorescent lights that are so harsh and not flattering. What is it? It wasn't a closet. It didn't look like there's any sort of hardware for closets. And then we've got another room with another little patch of tile down here. This is so weird down here. Really, truly weird. Okay, another kitchen with another restaurant screen. Maybe that's why they have that. Maybe they do genuinely have like restaurant software. 
Sand swinging in. 
Oh my gosh, this pool is amazing. This is insane. And then there's where the slide comes out. Oh, we'll go back there, don't worry. Here's the little kiddie pool area. How adorable. That is so cute. Even the little baby boos won't be left out. Giant rock fireplace thing. <sighs> Just crazy. I actually don't know what's through here. We can't really see. Um, I'll have to see if we can go in there from the dollhouse view. So if we walk back here, past this like definitely a lazy river, we can go behind the waterfall. Little hidden nooks and crannies. You feel like you're in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. You can even sit back there. It's so cool. I love these like little hidden grotto kind of things. And then you come across the secret pool cleaning room. And I keep all the supplies to keep it clean and the, the nets and stuff like that and then a lot of the hydraulics and whatnot. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? It's like a legit water park. Oh my gosh, we're not even done. There's more stuff. Okay, we got a bathroom here. And another one here. And through here we have the basketball court because why not at this point? Hopes and dreams. The maid. 
shooting range. Well, the very least, it looks like no one has um, shot the walls unless they just redid it. And three dark ravens. <laughs> They didn't include anything about him in the in the description, how dare they? Wow, and a mouse of fountain out front, why not? It's actually a video, I thought we could watch that too. Let's watch this video. Yeah, beautiful. Very isolated, which has its pros and cons. I flew a drone in here for this. Wow, quite the driveway. <gasps> Show the Range Rover. Show the Shandy. Show the Corinthian columns. just get a group of teenage girls to film this, that's kind of odd. Are they related to the owners? Like, maybe... I don't know, yeah. One of the mini kitchens. Another one of the kitchens. <laughs> They're quickly trying to get through square foot in like a, you know, 90 second video. Oh, fancy. Cinema. Oh, here's the kids and a random old man with them. money and space and all that, I'd want a better shower, but... Like, I prefer my current shower, which is in a non-multi-million dollar home, <laughs> to that. Oh, you guys can go to the pool or the basketball, okay. It's just so odd they picked four teenage girls. And it's slightly questionable when you think about this is like a promotional video to potential buyers. Okay, I'm not gonna dig into that too much because, I don't know, the implication is a little weird. That's so cool. Ah. Ah, the, the pool area is definitely my favorite. I could, I could leave a lot of aspects of the house. But, um, the, that pool area, oh my gosh, which is bigger than most people's houses. Yet, see, I... What are you doing? How deep is it right there, I'm wondering. Fun. It does look like a fun place to stay for a bit. Um, although again, with all that square footage, you'd think you could fit more bedrooms so that you could have some of these people stay in the night. Like, some people can stay the night, but clearly not, like, loads of people. Okay, um, that was, oh, it's got a name too, what is it called? It's like, Hubble, Hubble, I think it says it here, Hubble Creek Mansion. So that was a awful Greek mansion, so what did you guys think? I bet you've got loads of thoughts and I am dying to hear them, so please drop any and all thoughts you have in the comments. Um, I told you that we would fit just this one house an entire video, and it's not a, a short video by any means, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun in my little relaxing roast of this property. And uh, if you guys want more Zillow or 
Sotheby's, you know, house real estate ASMR videos, let me know. Tell me because I really 